In previous video we've prepared our models and request data classes and in this one I'll show you how to expose our first endpoint. This will be post endpoint to create a new app user collections in our MongoDB database. Let's start everything by introducing a new app user repository. Let's click on Comcoder C base package, new package and this one let's call it repository. As the next one, let's introduce a new interface. This is important, we'll be extending the MongoDB, uh, the Micronaut interface here and call it app user repository to make the name as descriptive as possible. What we have to do now is to extend a Micronaut repository and I will use CRUD repository, which provides a basic operations uh, for MongoDB. As the first thing, let's maybe hit Ctrl and keep it pressed and navigate to CRUD repository to see what methods do we have here. As I've mentioned, uh, we have save, update, update all, save all, find by ID. So everything uh, we need to expose a basic REST API. Additionally, let's verify two types which we have to provide when extending this interface. The first one will be the entity type and the second one will be the identifier type. So let's open up our app user and the type, the first type will be the app user and the second one will be the string value non nonable um, So app user and string. And basically one more thing we have to do right here is to put Mongo repository annotation. With that being done, let's introduce a new package called service. And this one will contain one class called, uh, sorry, new Kotlin class. And this one will be a standard class and will be called uh, app user service and will be encapsulating simply our repository with additional logic. Just like in Spring Boot, we mark with component right here, we specify the singleton to inform Micronaut about the scope of our app user service. To inject, we don't have any annotations. We simply can provide the app user, sorry, app user repository, which will be then injected to app user service instance. Let's create a new function and call it create. As an argument, we'll pass right here the app user instances, hit equals app user repository, save entity app user. One interesting feature of IntelliJ is that we can ask it to specify for us the return type. So let's navigate to the name, alt enter, and specify the return type explicitly. With that being done, we are ready to introduce a new controller layer. Package, again, controller, and I will create a new class, this time app user controller. Similarly, but this time we have to mark it with controller annotation. Additionally, right here I can specify um, the URL to which our app user controller should be used. Let's call it user. So each time uh, a new HTTP request to slash user is done, this will be routed to uh, our app user controller. As the next step, let's inject our service. So app user service and expose a new function called fun create. As an argument, it will take the app user request, app user request, which we've introduced previously, and it will invoke app user service create method function. The important thing we have to do one more thing here is to map our app user request to app user instance. We've gotten, I pretty enjoy the extension functions uh, 
which I will show you how to do here. So we would like app user request to be converted to our app user. I will call this extension function to model private fun. We have to specify the app user request, the type for which we would like to create a new extension function and call it to model. And as a result, we should expect an app user instance created automatically for us. So right here, ID, as I mentioned previously, we don't want it to be created. Again, I can click maybe on my app user request, right mouse button, split right. And for me, it will be easier to simply uh, see it on the right side. Name should be this because we are referencing to app user request name email the same this dot email for this tweet and now here comes the difference for app user the address is the nested structure so for address i'll create simply a new address instance which again open up and do the same this time i will simply uh, bring it here street equals this street city equals this city code equals this code control plus add plus l this shortcut uh, allows us to organize and to clean up the code a bit actually one thing we have to do is to specify to what type of http request we would like this function to be a handler for so i'll simply go with post so Every time a post request to localhost 8080 slash user is made, Micronaut will root this and will try to handle this particular request with our function. Let's rerun the application and open up the tool with which we will perform our HTTP request. It might be a command. For me, it will be postman. Let's maybe maximize this window, hit Q, change the value to post, specify local host 8080 slash, let's hit dismiss, slash user, and let's maybe copy because I don't remember all of that. Let's copy these values. Again, an interesting shortcut in IntelliJ, hit control, hit it once again and keep it pressed. And now, with the uh, buttons, we can select multiple lines at once. Shift, Control C, and open up Postman here. Body, row, text, JSON, and specify the values for that. Of course, we have to enclose that name, some name, same colon, colon, email, email at Gmail dot com street some street city let's call it Warsaw I'm sorry Warsaw code let it be 11 right here we can hit beautify and probably I missed something yeah that's right now this is a valid request body, which should be uh, used to create a new instance of an object. As we can see, the status is 200 OK. The identifier has been generated and returned, which indicates that everything should be as expected. I don't trust this, so let's go and open up MongoDB Compass. Let's hit connect, SumDB. We can see that the app user collection has been created and right here we can see that everything was persisted successfully. I would like to show you one more interesting thing. As I mentioned right here, uh, the status code is 200. Okay, if you would like to change that, you can do that in Micronaut as well. So let's get back to IntelliJ. Let's get back to app user controller. Again, right mouse button close other tabs and we can see that we've been left with this one under post 
I will use the status annotation, which lets me to specify a particular uh, status code, which should be used on success. I would like to change that, for example, to 201 created. When we rerun the application, you can do that with Shift plus F10 on Windows. Let's open up Postman once again, some name to email to let's keep the street city and code the same value sending we can see a new um, object has been created and the status code has been changed which indicates that everything is working as expected that's all for this video and see you in the next one